Today's film is Rage from 2010. No, not the video game. Written and directed by Chris Witherspoon. Dennis Twist, a suburban 30-something who unintentionally provokes the wrath of a mysterious and homicidal motorcycle rider, is about to have one hell of a day. The confrontation with the biker escalates into a day-long battle of cat and mouse, concluding in an extremely violent rampage. Rage's reputation is somewhat minimal, with the few people who know it uh, calling it as just a rip-off of Steven Spielberg's Jewel. It appears the film's downfall can be attributed to a combination of its lofty ambitions and the constraints of its relatively modest budget, which was estimated to be around £27,000. A primary source of disappointment for many appears to be the dissonance between the film's grand aspirations and its limited financial resources. This becomes particularly evident when considering the gratuitous content juxtaposed with its gritty and somewhat unpolished aesthetic. The juxtaposition of explicit scenes with this war visual style seems to have caused an adverse reaction, underscoring the delicate balance that needs to be struck between thematic choices and visual execution. It really doesn't matter if it looks good, sometimes you need to respect the story. Of noteworthy concern is the disheartening impact of poorly executed violent sequences, which are visually unappealing and unsightly. That is ChatGPT's way of saying that there is a lot of sexual violence in this film. Such missteps are especially disconcerting within the context of a sincere endeavour within the thriller genre, such as this stalker thriller. Chat GPT's version of saying that the director may be a perv. Hey, it weren't me, mate. The AI said it. While it would be unjust to label the entire film as a hack job, it cannot be denied that it falls victim to one of the gravest sins of Genoa filmmaking, cliched storytelling. This reliance on tired and overused narrative elements undermines the potential for a fresh and captivating cinematic experience. That said, it's important to recognise the glimmers of promise that shine through the film's shortcomings. Amidst the shadows cast by its flaws, there are instances of commendable shot composition that exhibit a keen visual eye. None of the shaky cam crap which was still common in the early 2010s. The acting, while not exceptional, manages to maintain a level of competence as well that prevents the film from completely derailing, but also removes it of any unintentional charm or hilarity, because, you know, they are they are trying, um, but the film sucks. Uh, a point in the film's favour, though, is its ability to swiftly propel the narrative forward, not squandering time in getting to the crux of its plot. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that the central theme, while perhaps relevant and thought-provoking, has been explored ad nauseum in the past. You know, the uh, home invasion thing, you know. Um, this reputation dulls the impact of what could have been a powerful message, leading to a sense of deja vu for those well-versed in the genre. Unfortunately, technical aspects contribute to the erosion of the film's potential impact. Inadequate lighting choices uh, hinder the visual experience with our old friend um, underexposed cinematography. Uh, it obscures key details and dampens the immersion and makes it look like a YouTube original. Um, crap. Additionally, the use of stock standard music from Final Cut, characterised by its lacklustre quality, I'm sure, proves to be a disservice to the film's atmosphere. The musical score, rather than enhancing the emotional resonance of the scenes, detracts from the overall experience. In summation, the frustration towards Rage stems not from it being a complete failure, but rather from the squandered opportunity it represents. It's much worse to be mediocre than it is to be plain out unquote bad. Within its runtime, there exists instances of cinematic prowess, fleeting moments of genuine intrigue, frustratingly so, and inklings of untapped potential. 
Yet these glimmers of promise are shrouded by a fog of cliches, technical deficiencies and a lack of sufficient financial backing to fully realise its vision. While it may be tempting to dismiss Rage outright due to its numerous shortcomings, a more nuanced perspective suggests that it occupies a middle ground, a realm of unfulfilled ambition and flawed execution. The disappointment lies not solely in its inherent flaws, but rather in the stark contrast between its aspirations and its limitations. Perhaps with more substantial resources and a more refined approach, the film could have transcended its pitfalls and offered a truly captivating cinematic experience. But it didn't. It sucks. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Tomorrow's film is Star Time.